stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. In the backfield is Anderson. And he'll get it up the middle. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. One of the beauties of a 3-4 defense is that you have flexibility with your linebackers, and you can put them in different spots. But one of the downsides is an offensive team is... He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find the spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. Now after the INT, it's Carr. This will be caught at the two. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On the carry, here's Marshawn Lynch. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. Second and goal from the one. They'll run again with Lynch. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Marshawn Lynch taking it in. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by the longtime Raider, Willie Brown. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Car now on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. K1 short, busting throw to get him for a loss of six. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. No. Under pressure, they got him again. Allen Branch in there to get him. And this pass.
pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. On third and long, it's Carr. It's Carr, Jones. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. They come out here in the eye. Car to throw on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target, and it's third down. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this game, and they'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Emmanuel Sanders from 19 yards away, and the Ravens will extend their lead. And it's good to make it 14 0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded at the two. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I mean, maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. The goal of the wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now Stafford. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for the Panthers. 58 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Will Fuller, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. And his kick is no good. It's an early miss. We'll see if that has any ramifications later here as the afternoon wears on. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried, they just didn't get it done. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second quarter now. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. It's the Ravens who have the football. They've got it second and ten to start things out.
Hill, the low set back. Carr, flush to his right. Going for Hilton, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And his crew will take over with the football at the 35-yard line. Now the Panthers' offense, they get set to come back onto the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't score more than watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Time running out here on the play clock. And they will not even get to the line here as we'll get a delay. They go play action here on first down. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Julio Jones, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 at the 9-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. He's got time in the pocket. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. To throw is Stafford. Fuller brings it in over the middle. A good pick up there at 20 yards. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Back to throw, Stafford. He's going to look deep down the field. And his pass is intercepted for the 